Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to tell you all about the DJI Dock 2. Stick around. As the name would suggest, the DJI Dock 2 is the second iteration of the DJI Dock. It's meant for use cases where it needs to be operated remotely, perform repetitive tasks from the same location, or to be quickly deployed without an operator present. This opens the door to so many use cases. The dock can be used at a construction site for construction management or mapping. It can be used at a remote location to monitor geological changes or perform inspections. Now that you have an idea of what the dock can be used for, let me tell you about what makes it work. The Dock 2 has gone through some major changes in both the aircraft and docking station since the original design came out. One big change is it's gotten 75% smaller and lighter. It now weighs only 75 pounds. The other noticeable change is in the design of the aircraft. The aircraft is now a dedicated drone series specific to the Dock 2 rather than a simply modified version of the Matrice 30 series drone that came with the original Dock. The new aircraft comes in two flavors, the Matrice 3D and the Matrice 3TD with the T signifying the thermal version. The payloads share the same specs as those of the Mavic 3 series. The Matrice 3D has two cameras, a 20 megapixel 4 thirds inch wide angle camera with a mechanical shutter and a 12 megapixel half inch telecamera. The Matrice 3TD adds a 640 by 512 thermal camera but the 4 thirds inch sensor and the mechanical shutter are replaced with a 1 over 1.32 inch 48 megapixel sensor. In short, if you don't think you'll need the thermal camera, the 3D is the one to get because of the larger 4 thirds sensor, which offers some image quality advantages with the wide camera, and the mechanical shutter reduces motion blur for high speed image captures and mapping. Besides the payload differences, all else remains the same for both drones. They both are IP54 rated for flying in nearly any condition, have max flight times of 50 minutes, an operating range of six miles, RTK on board for centimeter level accuracy, six direction obstacle sensing, and both feature an additional port at the top for adding accessories. Now let's talk about the dock itself, because the dock has some really cool tech built in to help it operate in nearly any condition. The dock is waterproof with an IP55 rating and can operate at temperatures between negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit and 113 degrees Fahrenheit, thanks to its built-in climate control system. Because the dock too can be set up to work completely autonomously, it includes a number of systems to accomplish that. It has its own weather monitoring station, which includes multiple sensors to monitor rainfall, wind speed, and temperature. It can even cancel flights automatically based on environmental conditions. And all the dock needs to operate remotely is power and an internet connection. It also has a built-in battery backup system that will allow the dock to operate without power for up to five hours. When it's time to land the craft, the built-in RTK base station on the dock and RTK on board the aircraft work together with the obstacle sensing system to precisely dock the craft every time. And when you're ready to fly again, the craft can be rapidly deployed in only 45 seconds. As you can see, the Dock 2 is an incredible solution for rapid deployment, remote flights, and completely autonomous workflows. If you have any questions at all, just give us a call, email us, or visit us at dslrpros.com for the latest info and pricing. I'm Danny. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.